Session 34, March 4, 1981. I am Ra, I greet you in the love and light of the one infinite creator we communicate now. Question. You stated at an earlier time that penetration of the eighth level, or intelligent infinity, allows a mind-body-spirit complex to be harvested if it wishes at any time, space, during the cycle. When this penetration of the eighth level occurs, what does the entity who penetrates it experience? Ra. The experience of each entity is unique in its perception of intelligent infinity. Perceptions range from a limitless joy to a strong dedication to service to others while in the incarnated state. The entity which reaches intelligent infinity most often will perceive this experience as one of unspeakable profundity. However, it is not usual for the entity to immediately desire the cessation of the incarnation. Rather, the desire to communicate or use this experience to aid others is extremely strong. Thank you. Would you define karma? Ra, our understanding of karma is that which may be called inertia. Those actions which are put into motion will continue using the ways of balancing until such a time as the controlling or higher principle, which you may liken unto your breaking or stopping, is invoked. This stoppage of the inertia of action may be called forgiveness. These two concepts are inseparable. Question. If an entity develops what is called karma in an incarnation, is there then programming that sometimes occurs so that he will experience catalysts that will enable him to get to a point of forgiveness, thereby alleviating the karma? Ra, this is in general correct. However, both self and any involved other self may, at any time through the process of understanding, acceptance and forgiveness, ameliorate these patterns. This is true at any point in an incarnative pattern. Thus, one who has set in motion an action may forgive itself and never again make that error. This also breaks or stops what you call karma. Question. Thank you. Can you give me examples of catalytic action from the last session, beginning with the self-unmanifested produced learning catalyst? Ra, we observed your interest in the catalyst of pain. This experience is most common among your entities. The pain may be of the physical complex. More often it is of a mental and emotional complex. In some few cases the pain is spiritual in complex nature. This creates a potential for learning. The lessons to be learned vary. Almost always these lessons include patience, tolerance, and the ability for the light touch. Very often the catalyst for emotional pain, whether it be the death of the physical complex of one other self, which is loved or other seeming loss, will simply result in the opposite, in a bitterness and impatience, a souring. This is the catalyst which has gone awry. In these cases, then, there will be additional catalysts provided to offer the unmanifested self further opportunities for discovering the self as all-sufficient creator containing all that there is and full of joy. Question. Do what we call contagious diseases play any part in this process with respect to the unmanifested self? Ra. These so-called contagious diseases are those entities of second density which offer an opportunity for this type of catalyst. If this catalyst is unneeded, then these second density creatures, as you would call them, do not have an effect. In each of these generalizations, you may please note that there are anomalies so that we cannot speak to every circumstance, but only the general run or way of things as you experience them. Question. What part do what we call birth defects play in the process? Ra, this is a portion of the programming of the mind-body-spirit complex totality manifested in the mind-body-spirit of third density. These defects are planned as limitations, which are part of the experience intended by the entity's totality complex. This includes genetic predispositions, as you may call them. Question, thank you. Can you give me the same type of information about the self in relation to the societal self? Ra. The unmanifested self may find its lessons those which develop any of the energy influx centers of the mind-body-spirit complex. The societal and self interactions most often concentrate upon the second and third energy centers. Thus those most active in attempting to remake or alter the society are those working from feelings of being correct personally or of having answers which will put power in a more correct configuration. This may be seen to be full travel from negative to positive in orientation. Either will activate these energy ray centers. 
there are some few whose desires to aid society of a green rain nature above. These entities, however, are few due to the understanding, may we say, of fourth ray, that universal love freely given is more to be desired than principalities or even the, rearrang or the rearrangement of people or political structures. Question. If an entity were to be strongly biased toward positive societal effects, what would this do to his yellow ray in the aura, as opposed to an entity who wanted to create an empire of society and govern it with an iron fist? Ra, let us take two such positively oriented active souls no longer in your physical time space. The one known as Albert went into a strange and to it a barbaric society in order that it might heal. This entity was able to mobilize great amounts of energy and what you call money. This entity spent much green ray energy both as a healer and as a lover of your instrument known as the organ. This entity's yellow ray was bright and crystallized by the efforts needed to procure the funds to promulgate its efforts. However, the green and blue rays were of a towering, brilliant nature as well. The higher levels, as you may call them, being activated. The lower, as you may call them, energy points remaining in a balance, being quite, quite bright. The other example is the entity Martin. This entity dealt in a great degree with rather negative orange ray and yellow ray vibratory patterns. However, this entity was able to keep open the green ray energy, and due to the severity of its testing, if anything, this entity may be seen as having polarized more towards the positive due to its fidelity to service to others in the face of a great catalyst. Question. Could you give me the last names of Albert and Martin? Ra. These entities are known to you as Albert Schweitzer and Martin Luther King. Question. I thought that was correct, but I wasn't sure. Can you give me the same type of information that we have been getting here with respect to the unmanifested interacting between self and gadgets and toys and inventions? Ra. In this particular instance, we again concentrate for the most part in the orange and in the yellow energy centers. In a negative sense, many of the gadgets among your people... That is what you call your communication devices and other distractions, such as the less competitive games, may be seen to have the distortion of keeping the mind-body-spirit complex unactivated so that yellow and orange ray activity is much weakened, thus carefully decreasing the possibility of eventual green ray activation. Others of your gadgets may be seen to be tools whereby the entity explores the capability of its physical or mental complex and in the few cases the spiritual complex, thus activating the orange ray in what you call your team sports, and another gadget such as your modes of transport. These may be seen to be ways of investigating the feelings of power, more especially power over others or group power over another group of other sounds. Question. What is the general overall effect of television on our society with respect to this catalyst? Ra. Without ignoring the green, ray, the green ray attempts of many to communicate via this medium, such information of truth and beauty as may be helpful, we must suggest that the sum effect of this gadget is that of distraction and sleep. Question. Can you give me the same type of information that we are working on now with respect to war and rumors of war? Ra. You may see this as relationship to your gadgets. This war and self-relationship is a fundamental perception of the maturing entity. There is a great chance to accelerate in whatever direct it is desired. One may polarize negatively by assuming bellicose attitudes for whatever reason. One may find oneself in the situation of war and polarize somewhat towards the positive, activating orange, yellow, and then green rays, by heroic, if you may call them, this action taken to preserve the mind, body, spirit complex of other selves. Finally, one may polarize very strongly third ray by expressing the principle of universal love at the total expense of any distortion towards involvement in bellicose actions. In this way, the entity may become a conscious being in a very brief span of your time space. This may be seen to be what you would call a traumatic progression. It is to be noted that among your entities, a large percentage of all progression has a catalyst, trauma. Question. You just used the term third ray in the statement. Was that the term you meant to use? Ra, we intend the green ray. 
Our difficulty lies in our perception of red ray and violet ray as fixed. Thus the inner rays are those which are varying and are to be observed of those indications of seniority in an attempt to form and harvest. Question. Would the red ray, an intense red ray, then be used as an index for seniority in incarnation as well as an intense violet ray? Ra, this is partially correct. In the graduation or harvesting to fourth density positive, the red ray is seen only as that, which being activated is the basis for all that occurs in vibratory levels, the sum of this being violet ray energy. The violet ray is the only consideration for fourth density positive. In assessing the harvestable fourth density negative, the intensity of the red as well as the orange and the yellow rays is looked upon quite carefully as a great deal of stamina and energy of this type is necessary for the negative progression, it being extremely difficult to open the gateway to intelligent infinity from the solar plexus center. This is necessary for harvest in fourth density negative. Question. Is it possible for you to use an example, our general patent, and tell me the effect that war had on him in his development? Ra. This will be our last full question that's working. The one of whom you speak, known as George, was one in whom the programming of previous incarnations had created a pattern or inertia which was irresistible in its incarnation in your time-space. This entity was of a strong yellow reactivation, with frequent green ray opening and occasional blue ray opening. However, it did not find itself able to break the mold of previous traumatic experiences of a bellicose nature. This entity polarized somewhat towards the positive in its incarnation due to its singleness of belief in truth and beauty. This entity was quite sensitive. It felt a great honor and duty to the preservation of that which was felt by the entity to be true, beautiful, and in need of defense. This entity perceived itself a gallant figure. It polarized somewhat towards a negative in its lack of understanding the green ray it carried with it, rejecting the forgiveness principle which is implicit in a universal love. The sum total of this incarnation vibrationally was a slight increase in positive polarity, but a decrease in harvestability, due to the rejection of the law or way of responsibility, that is, seeing universal love, yet still it fought on question. Do we have enough time for me to ask if the death, almost immediately after the cessation of war, of this entity, could have been so that it could have immediately been reincarnated, so that it could make harvest? Ra, this is precisely correct. Question. Thank you. I will then ask if there is anything we can do to make the instrument more comfortable. Ra, all is well. We leave you, my friends, in the love and the light of the one which is all in all. I leave you in an everlasting peace. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one infinite creator, Adonai. Session 35, March 6, 1981 Ra, I greet you in the love and light of the one infinite creator. We communicate now. Question. I would like to say that we consider it a great privilege to be doing this work, and we hope that we will be questioning in the direction that will be of value to the readers of this material. I thought that in this session it might be helpful to inspect the effect of the rays of different well-known figures in history to aid in understanding how the catalyst of the illusion creates spiritual growth. I was making a list that I thought we might use to hit the high points on the working of the catalyst of these individuals, starting with the one we know as Franklin D. Roosevelt. Could you say something about this entity? Ra, it has been noted that in discussing those who are well-known among your people, there is the possibility that information may be seen to be specific to one entity, whereas in actuality the great design of experience is much the same for each entity. It is with this in mind that we would discuss the experiential forces which offered catalyst to an individual. It is further to be noted that in the case of these entities lately incarnate, much distortion may have taken place in regard to misinformation and misinterpretation of an entity's thought or behaviors. We shall now proceed to say, speak of the basic parameters of the one known as Franklin. When any entity comes into third density incarnation, each of its energy centers is potential, but must be activated by the self using experience. The one known as Franklin developed very quickly up through red, orange, yellow, and green, and began to work in the blue ray energy center at a tender age, as you would say. 
This rapid growth was due firstly to previous achievements in the activation of the rays, secondly to the relative comfort and leisure of its early existence, thirdly due to the strong desire upon the part of the entity progress. This entity mated with an entity whose blue ray vibrations were of a strength more than equal to its own, thus acquiring catalysts for further growth in that area that was to persist throughout the incarnation. This entity had some difficulty with continued green ray activity due to the excessive energy which was put into the activities regarding other selves in the distortion towards acquiring power. This was to have its toll upon the physical vehicle, as you may call it. The limitation of the non-movement of a portion of the physical vehicle open once again for this entity. The opportunity for concentration upon the more, shall we say, universal or idealistic aspects of power, that is, the non-abusive use of power. Thus, at the outset of a bellicose action, this entity had lost some positive polarity due to excessive use of the orange and yellow ray energies at the expense of green and blue ray energies, then had regained the polarity due to the catalytic effects of a painful limitation upon the physical complex. This entity was not of a bellicose nature, but rather during the conflict continued to vibrate in green ray working with the blue ray energy. The entity, who was the one known as Franklin's teacher, also functioned greatly during this period as blue ray activator not only for its mate, but also in a more universal expression. This entity polarized continuously in a positive fashion in the universal sense, while in a less universal sense, developing a pattern of what may be called karma. This karma having to do with the inharmonious relationship distortions with the mate and teacher. Question. Two things I would like to clear up. First, then, Franklin's teacher was his wife. Is this correct? Ra, this is correct. Second, did Franklin place the physical limitations on the body himself? Ra, this is partially correct. The basic guidelines for the lessons and purpose of incarnation have been carefully set forth before incarnation by the mind-body-spirit complex totality. If the one known as Franklin had avoided the excessive enjoyment or of an attachment to the competitiveness which may be seen to be inherent in the process of its occupation, this entity would not have had that limitation. However, the desire to serve and to grow was strong in this programming, and when the opportunities began to cease due to these distortions towards love of power, the entity's limiting factor was activated. Question. I would like now to ask for the same type of information with respect to Adolf Hitler. You have given a little of this already. It is not necessary for you to recover what you have already given. Could you complete that information? Ra. In speaking of the one you call Adolf, we have some difficulty due to the intense amount of confusion present in this entity's life pattern, as well as the great confusion which greets any discussion of this entity. Here we see an example of one who, in attempting activation of the highest rays of energy, while lacking the green ray key, cancelled itself out as far as polarization either towards positive or negative. This entity was basically negative. However, its confusion was such that the personality disintegrated, thus leaving the mind-body-spirit complex, unharvestable and much in need of healing. This entity followed the pattern of negative polarization, which suggests the elite and the enslaved, this being seen by the entity to be of a helpful nature for the societal structure. However, in drifting from the conscious polarization into what you may call a twilight world, where dream took the place of events in your space-time continuum, this entity failed in its attempt to serve the Creator in a harvestable degree along the path of service to self. Thus we see the so-called insanity, which may often arise when an entity attempts to polarize more quickly than experience may be integrated. We have advised and suggested caution and patient in previous communications and do so again, using this entity as an example of the over-hasty opening of polarization without due attention to the synthesized and integrated mind-body-spirit complex. To know yourself is to have the foundation upon firm ground. Question. Thank you. That is an important example, I believe. I was wondering if any of those who were subordinate to Adolf at that time were able to polarize in a harvestable nature on the negative path. Ra. We can speak only of two entities who may be harvestable in a negative sense, 
others still being in the physical incarnation, one known to you as Hermon, the other is preferred to be called Himmler. Question. Thank you. Earlier we discussed Abraham Lincoln as a rather unique case. Is it possible for you to tell us why the fourth density being used Abraham Lincoln's body, what its orientation was, and when this took place with respect to the activities that were occurring in our society at the time? Ra, this is possible. Question. Would it be of value for the reader to know this in your estimation? Ra, you must shape your queries according to your discernment. Question. In that case, I would like to know the motivation for this use of Abraham Lincoln's body at that time. Ra, this shall be the last full query of this session, as we find the instrument quite low on vital energies. The one known as Abraham had an extreme difficulty in many ways, and due to physical, mental, and spiritual pain, was weary of life, but without the orientation to self-destruction. In your time, 1853, this entity was contacted in sleep by a fourth density being. This being was concerned with the battles between the forces of light and the forces of darkness, which had been waged in the fourth density for many of your years. This entity accepted the honor and duty of completing the one known as Abraham's karmic pattern, and the one known as Abraham discovered that this entity would attempt those things, which the one known as Abraham desired to do, but felt it could not. Thus the exchange was made. The entity Abraham was taken to a plane of suspension, until the cessation of its physical vehicle, much as though we of Ra would arrange with this instrument to remain in the vehicle, come out of the trance state and function as this instrument, leaving this instrument's mind and spirit complex in its suspended state. The planetary energies at this time were what seemed this entity being a critical point, for that which you know as freedom had gained in acceptance as a possibility among many people. This entity saw the work done by those beginning the democratic concept of freedom, as you call it, in danger of being abridged or abrogated by the rising belief and use of the principle of the enslavement of entities. This is a negative concept of a fairly serious nature in your density. This entity, therefore, went forward into what it saw as the battle for the light, for healing of a rupture in the concept of freedom. This entity did not gain or lose karma by these activities due to its detachment from any outcome. Its attitude throughout was one of service to others, more especially to the downtrodden or enslaved. The polarity of the individual was somewhat, but not severely, lessened by the cumulative feelings and thought forms which were created due to large number of entities leaving the physical plane due to trauma of battle. May we ask if this is the information you requested or if we may supply any further information? Question. I will ask any further questions during the next working period, which should occur in about four days. We do not want to overtire the instrument. I will only ask if there is anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable. Ra, all is well. I leave you, my friends, in the love and the light of the one infinite Creator. Go forth, therefore rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one Creator, Adonai.